USA, Illinois. Khalil Amin's permanent workplace is at Argonne National Laboratory. He also works as an adjunct professor at Stanford University. He devoted all his life to helping people use energy effectively, protect what has been given to us by nature, and make life on Earth easier. Amin was born in Morocco. In 1989, he obtained his PhD degree in Bordeaux. He used to work in Belgium and Japan. From 1998 till present, Khalil Amin is an Argonne Distinguished Fellow and the manager of the Advanced Lithium Battery Technology Team at Argonne National Laboratory. Since the past 10 years, he is the most cited scientist in the world on the topic of accumulator batteries and the author of 197 patents and 554 publications. The materials developed by him are used by many corporations all over the world, such as BOSF, LG Chemical, General Motors, Envia, Microvost, Samsung, Toda, Umicore, and all the electric vehicle manufacturers. NMC Cathode is considered to be the scientist's major accomplishment. The battery, based on this material, shows the highest energy and stability at high voltages. It is widely used in the batteries of many electric vehicles, such as BMW, Chevy Bolt, Chevy Volt, Nissan Leaf, Ford, Toyota, Hyundai, and some others. One of Amin's latest innovations is a new superoxide battery closed system. It is capable to yield up to five times more energy than lithium-ion batteries. Scientists from all over the world think it should lead to a sharp increase in the number of electric vehicles in the future. Uh, the last, uh, I would say, 20 years has been mostly focused on energy storage to develop advanced battery technology, uh, not only for uh, enabling uh, low-cost, longer driving range electric vehicle, but also storing energy from the sun and wind, which is very important to replace coal and, and diesel and natural gas. As you know, it has an impact on greenhouse gas emission. Um, it, it gives you many other benefits for consumer electronics and so on. Khalil Amin manages to collaborate with many universities around the globe. He has been awarded dozens of prestigious engineering and sci-tech prizes. At the same time, he lives the life of a common person. He likes spending spare time with his wife and kids. For a vacation, he would go abroad to show his daughter and son the life outside the United States. Well, I have to say that I have gotten many, many awards during my career, but the Global Energy Prize is by far the most prestigious. Um, so I'm very um, thankful and uh, grateful to the uh, Global Energy Association and to the committee that selected me to be part of the uh, laureate family. My pictures and my name has been around the newspaper, around the world, so I became much more famous than before. I look forward to actually collaborate with the Global Energy Association in any way I can to keep this relationship.